We're back in league action today and we've got a game that very well could be a playoff preview as we take on Alfreton Town in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video and today guys, we've got episode number 28 of the Kingsley Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020 and just before we do get started with the video, if you're enjoying the series so far, please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Every like really does help the channel out. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content like what you're about to see. And so guys, into the video. And yep, we have got all Fritton Town today in what could be a playoff preview. But just before we do get into that, we are starting on the transfer screen. Because we have got one little bit of transfer business to catch you up on. And that is our backup goalkeeper, Josh Barnes, has been sold to AFC Wimbledon for £8,500. Quite a decent little bit, bit of business there. I think because if we have a look, he wasn't playing for us this year. He'd played seven games, conceded seven, had an average rating of 6.77. And then, yeah, AFC Wimbledon came in for him. If they're looking for a keeper, why they didn't go for our main keeper, Herbin, I'm not sure. But, yep, they've gone for him. And so he's made the giant leap up to League One. He's not had a game yet. Can't really imagine him getting a game for him. So, yep, yeah, decent bit of business for us. That takes the amount of money we've brought in this season through transfers up to 83000 So we're doing all right on the transfer business. And so let's go and see how we've been doing since we was last together. We've not played that many games because you was with me here for the game against Bristol City in the FA Cup third round and a complete sellout in the stadium, almost 8,000 people. And so that was nice to see, but unfortunately didn't make as much money as I would like. In fact, I think, I think, yeah, we've already backed down to back where we was before that game. So that 100 grand we made in the last game has done us for a month. So, yeah. Thank you for that FA Cup. Would have been nice if it was on TV. We would have got some more money. But anyway, let's see how we have been getting on. The first game since we was together was against Barrow. And it was a 2-1 victory. And as you can see on the match stats, we bossed this game. In fact, I'm going to move myself out of the way again. Let's just put myself over here. And so, yep. 21 shots, 2 there, 12. 10 on target, 2 there, 3. 7 off target, 2 there, 5. 4 clear cut chances, 59% of the ball. Adam Maria and Estrada with the goals. And yet, very nice win. After Barrow equalised, I was a little bit worried we wasn't going to get the win. So then I went 2 up top, and Estrada managed to get on from the midfield and win us the game. So that was a very, very nice performance there. And then the game after that was against Aston United back at home. Adam Marriott once again with a goal. I think now he's on 31, 32 goals. I know he's gone past 30, definitely. And as you can see, we bossed this game. Aston United were not very good. 14 shots to their 2. 6 on target to their none. 58% of possession. The only little worrying thing about this game is that we didn't score more. We really should have kicked on after Adam Marriott got the f first and only goal. So yeah, a little bit worrying, but we got the win. That is all that matters at this point of the season. But then this game against Gateshead, how we lost this. Somebody please explain to me because I have not got a scooby dooby doo Look at that. We had 21 shots to their 9, 10 on target to their 5, 6 clear-cut chances to their 3, 56% of the ball. They did score first in the opening minute, 
but then we equalised just before half time and we really should have had 2, 3, 4 already even by that point but then they went and nicked it in the 94th minute and are oh, it's Gateshead again. They are one of those teams who just like causing me problems in this save. So, yeah, that was a disappointing result. But it was the only defeat we have had since we've been together. Because after that, we went and played Bradford PA. Adam Marriott once again with yet another goal. 10 shots, 2 there, 6. 56% of the ball. Five on tar three on three shots on target even sorry. And so yeah, another nice performance. But again, another one where we maybe should have scored a couple more. But we got the win, so we cannot be picky. And then after that we had a draw versus Ultranum. And again, another quite even game. I think you can say this one was. Ten shots they had, two are fourteen, five on target apiece. They had three clear-cut chances, so they had the better chances. But we did, again, have a little bit more of the ball than them. So I think you could maybe say a point was maybe the right result on the day for that one. And then Brackley, 4-2 win. This was a very nice performance. Romain Mundell with a couple. George Brown opened the scoring for us. And Joseph Fitchett, the youngster, who is still one of my favourite players, at this club. I'm not starting him yet. But he is very, very good. Maybe next season. It may be next season might be the one for Joseph Fitchett to get some starts. But yep, 19 shots, 2 there, 16. 7 on target, 2 there, 8. No clear-cut chances though. So how we scored 4 goals with no clear-cut chances, I'm not quite sure. But 59% of the possession. So yeah, very, very nice one there. And then, the last game since we've been together, when this was against Telford. 1-1 one, one draw. Diaz Wright getting us a penalty to equalise after Aidan Gold had given Telford the lead just two minutes earlier. But the match stats do not lie. We didn't play all that brilliantly. 11 shots, 2 there, 18. 4 on target, 2 there, 6. Same amount for off target as well. And four clear-cut chances, so we really should have taken at least one more. And then possession was very, very even. So, with all that out of the way, let's go and get into the team for today's game against Alfreton. Actually, before I do that, let's have a look at the league table. Because before the game, we are in third. Level on points with Kidderminster above us. Now, it's what, 14 points between us and Solihull Moors. So we're not winning the league. We are in the playoffs unless a nightmare happens between now and the end of the season. And Alfreton are in sixth. They are six points below us. So yeah, that is how things stand at the minute. Let's get myself back in my corner. And somebody put bad jokes in the corner, please. And there I go. And then, all right then, let's go and have a look at the team for today's game. As ever, it's a very, very settled team. We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left-back, Jones in centre-back, but today he's partnered with Andrew Young. He's come in since our defender Hopkins has had a little bit of an injury. So Young has come in and he's in for him today. And Wardrop is on the right-hand side. And then in the midfield and in the attack, it's that very familiar six. Mbalo on the left, Wright and Simmons in the middle, Brown on the right hand side and then Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott up top. Adam Marriott is on 31 goals for the season so let's hope he can get another couple today and get us another very nice win. The bookmakers have us as the favourites for the game. We're evens to win it whereas Alfreton are 11-5. We have beaten Alfreton twice in this series. They've beaten us once with two draws. So let's hope that couple of wins can help us to another one here today. All right, now we're in the dressing room. Let's go do the usual. No opposition instructions. And let's go. We're fourth in the form standings. Let's go for something different to what we normally say. See if that gets any kind of reaction. Yeah, 
it's okay. I think there's a lot more to come from you. And then we are going for the usual now. And try and get a reaction out of Marriott. And we have. And so prediction time. I don't think I did this in the last video. So predictions. I'm going to go 2 nil us. I think we can do this. 2-0 to the Kingsland boys. Come on you Linets. 25 minutes in. Finally first highlight of the game. And Barla with the ball goes to Wilson who crosses it in. George Brown tries to header it but misses it. And now Wardrop collects it. Can he play it back to Simmons? He does. To Wardrop on the right hand side. Goes to right. He's got a man out on the, on the right here if he wants him but he doesn't. He tries to go left, but Mbala's unable to get onto that quite poor pass. And now we head it away again, and our man there misses the header. And Alfreton have the ball going all the way back to their keeper, so they're going to reset. And Roxburgh is their keeper, just walking outside of their box. Kicks it long, and we try to head it away, but it somehow finds its way to Wilson eventually. Marriott is in. Marriott is in. Is he going to put the ball home? No, he's not. That's a very tame effort there from Adam Marriott. 43 minutes gone now. Second highlight of the game. Mbala again back to Wilson off the throw in. Ball tries to get crossed in but our man is unable to get onto it. But Wardrop has it for us now. Back in our own half. Goes to Young. To Jones. To right. And now can he play the ball out wide? He tries to and again it's another poor pass. I'm not sure who's at fault there. If it's the man passing it off, it's Mbala for not knowing where it's going. And now Nicholson with the ball plays it forward, but again we head it away. Simmons to Mundell. And can Mundell find Marriott? He does. Marriott's turned. Marriott is in this time. And there it is. Marriott's 32nd goal of the season. And we are 1-0 up just before half time. Very nice move there eventually. Let's have a look at this on the replay. It was our man Simmons getting the ball to Mundell. And he played it. And Marriott with a beautiful little ballet turn there. And he got the ball. Finally past the keeper. Slotted it into the corner very, very nicely. And oh, one more highlight just before half time now. Can we get a second? And not with Mbala playing like that. And Barla really has been quite poor lately. He might be asking to be dropped. We'll see how he gets on in the rest of this game. And I might just drop him for a few. Give him a bit of a shock. And now Hetherington with the ball to Lynch. Lumsden right on the halfway line. Plays it back to Hetherington. And that's an awful pass, thank God. And Herbin collects it easily. And now Herbin to Wilson. Plays it wide to Mbala. And who's he going to get it to? Right. And now, can he play it over the top? He does. Simmons is in. Can Simmons do exactly the same as Marriott? He's tried for the shot and that was awful. That was a terrible effort there from Simmons. And I think that's going to be the last action of the half. As indeed it is. And we have had five shots. Two there, four. Five on target. Two there, two. But we have had less of the ball. Little bit surprising for us, but we're winning the game. We have been the better team, even with less of the possession. So I'm fairly happy. I'm going to go into the dressing room, and now let's go. You've played well so far, but there's still room for improvement. No reaction from pretty much everybody. Come on, lads, show some desire. And there we go, that's a little bit better. Come on, one more goal to make my prediction correct. Would be very, very nice. First highlight of the second half. Right as the ball. He's played it over the top. And now can Simmons square it? No, he doesn't. But Marriott is there on the rebound. Off the goalkeeper's parry there. And that's now 33 goals for the season. For the robot Adam Marriott. And let's have a look at this on the replay. Right with a very nice pass there. Simmons brings it down, gets into the box, goes for the shot. And their keeper with a very poor save there. Now one man you don't want it to fall to in our league is our main man, Adam Marriott. Almost an hour gone. Herbin with a goal kick goes out wide to Wilson, to Jones, right, Mbala. 
Mbala with the ball goes out wide to Wilson. Now Mbala was in space there if the pass had been anywhere near him. But Alfreton clear it and we pick it up. Jones, Young over the top again. Mundell tries to flick it on but he's got two men on him and he inevitably loses that challenge. And now it's still right to Jones. Over the top again he's trying. Mundell this time has it. And that's a poor pass again. And that's a very poor pass there. And Lumsden is in. And our keeper there, Herbin, with a very nice save. Pushing the ball over the bar. And it's going to be Alfreton with the corner. Rogers crossing the ball in. Simmons heads away. Goes to Borough. Lake on the edge of the box. His shot is blocked. And can Mundell pass it, please? No, he can't. He's given it up there. And thankfully, Alfreton were unable to take advantage. 66 minutes gone. We're making a couple of changes. We've got Jaden Campbell coming on on the left-hand side for David Mbala. He needs a bit of a kick up the backside. He needs a bit of a warning that he's not been playing well in the last few games. So he's come off. And we've done one of our favourite substitutions on the other side. Joseph Fitchett is going to be coming on for George Brown. Let's see if Fitchett can get another goal and really, really wrap this game up. Immediately following the subs, we've got a highlight. And we've got a ball there. It's gone over our defender's head like my jokes when I'm talking to me misses. But we've thankfully been able to clear the ball pretty much off the line. And now it's sharp. With the ball goes out wide to Heverington. Come on, win it back. Nope, he's cut inside the box. He's crossed it in and oh, we are doing a dreadful job here of defending. But we seem to have got lucky and survived. Quarter of an hour left in this game. Rodgers with the free kick for Alfreton. He crosses it in. We almost get it away but it falls to Lumsden. And now Alfreton have got a little glimmer of hope. Oh my gosh. Rodgers with it. And yet yeah, our defender, Jones, tried to head it away and, well, that's poor keeping. Herbin dived the wrong way. Oh, 60 seconds left of normal time and there's a highlight. Herbin, please just get the ball away. Mundell flicks it on to Simmons. Mundell's in space. Can he find Adam Marriott? No, he can't. That was poor. And now Wilson with the ball into right to Wilson. And it goes out wide. Is Fitchett going to get onto this? No, he's not. Barnet into his own box to Roxburgh. Oh, I'm getting nervous now, boys. Getting very, very nervous. Roxburgh with the ball. Goes long. Nicholson nods it down for Rogers. Over the top. Jones heads away. Campbell now into right. And Marriott's not even made a run there. But Mundell won the second attempt, has it? Marriott is in. Can he get his hat trick? No, he can't. It's gone wide. Four minutes left to survive. I, th oh, oh, I was about to say, I think we're going to. Can with the cross. Bra with the header. Lake. Oh, come on. Come on, get this ball away. Mundell has cleared it. And is Marriott going to get onto this ball? Yes, he is. Two minutes left. Get your hat-trick, son. Get your hat-trick, mate. He's played the ball into the box. Mundell is there. He's onside. Come on, put the ball in the back of the net. And that was dreadful. That was a terrible effort from Mundell. 50 seconds left. Right, with the free kick. Goes into the box and, oh, that was poor. They've got enough time here to get this ball forward, if they can. And the ball drop over the top again. Thankfully, it's, it's, it's away from our ball. It's away from our net, sorry. Roxburgh with it. They've still got enough time to absolutely hoof this. Don't, don't do this to me, game. Do not do this to me. Simmons to Fitchett. Fitchett out wide. He's fouled there. Come on, ref. Give that man a red card to match his shirt. Come on, referee. Blow your whistle. I think we're just waiting for Wardrop to kick this. And then he is going to blow his whistle. Come on. What is this referee doing to me? There we go. Was there any point of those few extra kicks? I don't think so. But does not matter. We have got another victory. Keeps us in the playoff places. 15 shots. 
to their 13, 9 on target to their 6, possession very even, 5 clear cut chances we had to their 2, Adam Marriott with another couple of goals, ensuring another victory. And so let's go passionate, well done lads, that was a good win for us, everybody's delighted. And so guys, I'll be back with you in a second to see when we're going to come back for the next episode. Okay guys, so we are still third in the league, now only 11 points behind Solihull Moors. Because as you can see, they lost to Brackley, the team right behind us actually, in the league. So, 11 points, mathematically it's on, but it's not, is it really? We'd be very, very optimistic to think we can still win the league. But, at least we're pretty much guaranteed playoffs at this point. And so, let's see when we're going to come back. Where is the schedule button gone? There we go. And then all the way down here. Okay, so, we have got 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten games left. I think we're pretty much guaranteed playoffs. So I'm going to come back for the last two games of the season. One of them is against Solihull Moors. So if there's any chance of us winning the league, I think that's a good time to come back. So in the next episode, we're going to have a good old fashioned double header. We've not had one for a while. And so that's going to be the next episode, end of the season, against Solihull Moors and South Shields. And so guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Every like, every thumbs up really does help the channel out with the YouTube algorithm. And as well as that, if you're new and if you've enjoyed this, it would mean a whole lot to me if you would subscribe to the channel. We have passed 200, no, 200, we passed that a long, long time ago, 560 subscribers. So, yep, yeah, guys, that's a very awesome achievement once again. The achievements here just keep on coming as far as the subs. So, we want to keep the good times going. So, please do subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. That's where you'll get all the news first about this series, uh, about the series, the channel, everything. Indeed, I am thinking about doing a second series on the channel. I'm thinking of doing a Indian, a Indian series. So keep an eye out for that. And yep, guys, as well as that, check out the Passion for FM Discord, the website, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Check all that stuff out. Details as ever down below. And yep, guys, that's everything for me today. Uh, what day is it now? It's Friday, isn't it? So I'll be back maybe Sunday with another episode of this. Keep it on the Twitter to see. And yep, guys, I shall see you next time for some more episodes of Walks to the Prem. Arrivederci.